Hey guys, hi. I am so way, way, way late. A whole day late. <laughs> and what did I say? I'm going to post the video no matter what. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm still... Okay, I think I just overdid it I, in terms of putting these together and trying to get everything cut. I'm still... I mean, they're, they're going to be ready to mail out, to ship out um, by tomorrow for those of you um, who have purchased yours. Oh, not priority. <laughs> so, ay, ay, ay. Okay. So, what I did for this particular um, snippet roll kit is I put together these. They're like those pocket things that you guys do. You're going to hear a lot of noise in the background. My, my husband has on the, the radio station um, on his cell phone. Um, anyway... So, yeah, so let me just show you what I did. And by the way, I'm still like, I'm still cutting up eyelet. I have, um, eyelet pieces that I'm still, still cutting up. Um, I'm, I, I'm going to have these ready to mail out by tomorrow though. So this is what I'm currently doing. There's all the eyelet there. Um, and then, um, these will just, I, I'm thinking that I'm going to put in, um, let me show you guys. Sorry about that. I'm kind of rocking you around. I think what I'm going to do is put, I'm going to keep the lace packs separate from, let me show you these here, the lace packs separate from these packs. So these are the, I'll show you one what's in here. You guys sort of saw it, but these are the packs that have all of the snippet uh, doily pieces in them. So I'll go through a pack. Um, can you guys see that? I hope so. I'm kind of at an awkward spot here. So I've got all of these packs are all together, right? And there's quite a bit in there. There's there's a lot in there. Guys, before it's said and done, um, yeah, there, I may be adding more in there. I had to get these off of the out of the living room because of, you know, that's where I... Um, assemble them and I don't like to keep I don't like my dogs to be around my Etsy stuff um there's you know there's nothing wrong with it but I just keep them out of my Etsy room we don't even allow our dogs in our bedroom or in the bathroom the hallway or the bathroom <laughs> so we're just like that I know it's nothing wrong but anyway I keep my my Etsy stuff separate um from let me leave, let me take one of these out of here uh separate from my dogs just because well, because, you know, they they shed hair. <laughs> um, everybody knows that who has a pet. Okay, so these are the lace packs. And I'm going to tell you guys the truth. I think I'm going back to my old style of, of curating journal kits in terms of presentation because this took me forever. That's what took so long, the presentation part. Let me show you what I did. And um, let me let me organize here. And again, my apologies. I'll I'll be sure to make it worth you guys' while um, in in these for for waiting so long. For those of you who've who've already purchased yours. So what I did is I put together these pocket. Um, let me turn off this light here because you guys, I think you'll be able to see it better. Oh my God, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Um, it's going to be kind of glary. Let's see. How can I fix that? I don't think I can fix that, guys. Let me see. Do I turn that light off? Nope. Doesn't matter. Okay. I'll, I'll do my best to show you, um, what's inside. So anyway, what I did is I put together those, I forgot what you guys call these. They're pocket, um, something. I forget. I know Tammy, uh, Brackett used to do these. I think, I don't know if she still does or not, but Anyway, and by the way, has anybody heard from Paula Forder? I haven't seen any uh, notifications for her videos. And um, she was the one who made the Curiosity Journal that was so cool. And it had, she collected like all of these weird images of different things that were just odd. And um, I don't know, she just sort of popped in my brain um, the other day. Well, actually a couple weeks ago and then the other day. And so I was wondering if you guys have heard from her or if anybody knows how she's doing. Anyway, so here, here is what I put together. Now, my, I'm putting these, folding these into, and guys, I didn't buy anything for these kits. I didn't buy 
anything. I wonder if I move over here, you guys might be able to see it better. Sorry, the, my husband's listening to a Mexican radio station, and they're, they're really, I don't know what they're talking about. Um, <clears throat> in terms of, I know what they're talking about. I'm not focused on what they're talking about, but there's somebody's um, making really loud noises. Anyway, so this is what I did. Um, I put in, in these for you guys to fold, and this, um, I didn't buy anything. I literally, literally, kid you not, swear didn't buy one single thing for these packs everything you see um came out of my 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 stock my my merc <laughs> as the young kids would say um and so these these particular folder pieces are old these came from if you guys remember um an old photo album that i bought at an estate sale Oh my God, almost two years ago, I think it was. Yeah, it was about two years ago. And <clears throat> I, when I, the, the lady who bought the photo album, it had black and white photos in the, the photos were so old that there was even a picture of ladies, um, likely from like the early 1900s who were, um, working around outside, uh, cooking outside and canning things, um, and they had on these bonnets and these long dresses. They weren't African-American. They were, well, as far as I know, because, you know, some of us black folk are light skinned. Um, we're throwback black people. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, they could have been, I don't think they were though, guys. I'm just kidding. I, they, they were white people, but it was the coolest picture. And the lady who bought the whole album, um, I took out some of these because there were so many of them in there and we were trying to do like the best shipping rate and all of that. Anyway, um, these are old. These um, housed uh, very old um, images. They're not old in terms of vintage uh, or antique old, these plastic things here. They just came out of an old album that housed um, very old pictures, black and white original pictures. Anyway, so I had these, okay? So in these, I put your applique, your tatting, um, that red fabric um, that I chopped up. And remember, guys, it was such a challenge to not want to cut everything and make everything big, although like junk journal size big, right? But the fabric pieces, I, I left those so that you can cut those out the way you want to, okay? So snippet, snippet rolls. Um, oh my gosh, now I forgot what they're called. Sewing blocks, snippet blocks, I guess is what um, the ladies were doing. Um, those really cool tags um, that ladies are making with, um, I saw, I'm going to link, let's see, I'm going to link, I wrote down the people who I'm going to link in this video because I can't show you what you can do with these. Most of you know, but there's a lot of new people to our junk journaling community. Gosh, I wish that glare would go away. There's a lot of new people to our junk journaling community and they, you know, they're still learning. So, and welcome to those of those new sus subscribers I have. Um, glad to have you. I'm kind of, um, I don't know, either I always tell my new subscribers, either I grow on you or you just really dislike me and get tired of my mouth and go somewhere else. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> I am who I am. Okay. Um, I'm going to plug in. Rachel's Midori style covers. Holy, holy, holy sewing artistic moly. Um, Wendy's latest video, I think hers was, what was it titled? I'll put, anyway, I'll put it in there. Was that, it was either the one before the penultimate video Wendy made or the last one. I'll find it. And then those tags that, um, Ann Brooks, Ann Brooke and those ladies are doing, those gals are doing, um, and yeah. Yes, that I wrote down here um, that Ann Brooks' last tag holds a lot of reality um, and glory. It's really, really, it's very cool. So I'm putting that video in here. And then I'm going to plug in um, Sagita's uh, last, those journals that she made, because those covers that she made, I think one of her friends called it junk, junk embroidery, which I think is really cool because it's, um, it's, it's, um, 
Oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? It's concrete, but some of her um slow her slow stitching on the front covers are it's sort of abstract, but it's got you know you can well anyway. Oh, okay, I'm sorry guys. I'm really trying to get these um to get this filmed and get them out because I feel terrible that I'm behind, but y'all know how it goes. And by the way, I'm not an artist. Um so I just want to remind everybody, hello, my name is Renee. I am not an artist. I don't make junk journals. I don't make tags. I don't make um anything really. <laughs> I just supply supplies. I am fortunate enough to live in an area where I can find pretty much anything. Um, I could travel if I wanted to, to find like even more vintage antique stuff. Um, but I'm good here with estate sales and thrift stores because it is a wealth of um, things to find around here uh, where I live. And I'm very fortunate and I never take it for granted. And thank you guys for always being my customers. And those of you who are my friends, y'all know who you are. <laughs> And you accept me for who I am because, um, yeah, and at my age, I'm definitely set in my ways. So there's not going to be any changing um, ever. Um, it, it's I'm a done deal. OK, and um, I love um, the other day, Rachel said it's a ho-hum moment. Um, she cracks me up. I mean, and and I and she's not trying to do it. Um, she probably doesn't know that. But, oh, my God, some of the things that she says is so hilarious. A lot of you. Um, Tiff at Southern Gals, Nick the Booksmith, um, then they're not trying to be funny. There's just some things that they comes out of their mouth. I have quotes that when I finally show you guys my reader journal and my Jessica Rap journal, um, when I finally show you guys that, hang on, I'm trying to show it here. I got stuff on top that I'm saving for myself. There's my beautiful sunflower. Um, from uh, uh, Cherie. This is my Rita Donnelly journal, and I am just about done with it. Um, this was gifted to me, and um, I've been I've lived in this journal now for almost. Well, guys, I started it back in February of last year. And I'm still in it. Um, I I have missed some days, but I'm not the kind of journaler who. Uh, records every single day. This is my gratitude book. And um, anyway, so yeah, there, there's a lot of goodness in there. And why was I telling you that? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, I'm going to show that to you guys, but I was trying to tell you something and I forgot because my brain is all over the place. Okay, let me focus on these and then I'll get back to that. I'll show you guys a video of that in my Jessica Rap Journal. So what I did... Um, Let's see here. Where do I start? I guess right here. I put all the little snippet bits into um, these packs. Okay. So you have lots of um, lots to play around with. There's your little pack of buttons right there. And all of this is vintage. That's what I was telling you guys that, you know, everything that I have, I have a chance to. I think that's what I was telling you. There's some cheesecloth. Now, some of the cheesecloth I had to use, I ran out of, let's see, out of, this is a different style. I had these in my, my stock too. This um, color, I ran out. And you're going to see, barely see a little bit of, um, tatting because I used all that I had left but I I'm pretty sure that I I have more somewhere around here I just I I yeah I just have to to dig and I'm trying to get these out um if not I'm pretty sure I will find more and so anybody who's interested in something like that let me know but I put all the tatting that I had in my um my uh, pile of old vintage laces. Um, I saved a piece of this lace for myself. So I haven't even, guys, I haven't even got started cutting up. This is a piece of that. I said, this is old, old stuff. So you guys have some of that in there. And this is just one piece of a lot of old vintage pieces. If you can see that. Yeah. So, um, so yes, um, there's going to be, yeah, there we go. A lot of everything in here is vintage. Okay, so I put in here, there's my mom's little uh, debutante 
piece from her doll dress there, if you can see that. This is so hard and awkward for me. My husband's going to get make me a, another thing to go over my desk. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but anyway. And then I put in a lot of, of whoops, a lot of these buttons. They're old. And so here's some here. You can kind of see where is the focus. Come on. There we go. I usually don't have problems. So I put a lot of old buttons in there. And they vary. I mean, they're all, this is a, a kind of a mother of pearl. You're probably not going to be able to see the the color scheme in there, in, in that pearl. And there's your, your um, thread. So you get two threads, this one, and I just randomly picked one. There's buttons. Okay. And then what's behind um, some of these is, and then of course, some of these, I will add something more stuff to them before I wrap them up to send out. Um, there's your uh, feed sack pieces. I put up an old vintage playing card in there. I love this fabric right here. This is beautiful. This is really fun, I think, to put on a snippet roll. And then there's a green piece there. <clears throat> and then there's the back. I left... Now, here's why what I did. I had, let's see, let me show you a couple more of these to show you what they look like. Look at these buttons here, the pearl buttons. And um, and then this kind, this style of, of thread. And remember, these, this, this is for snippets, guys. This is not for like big, well, it could be for big projects if you do something like, hang on a second. Okay, um, <clears throat> so I've got two, um, yeah, you've got, this particular fabric is really nice um, too. So you've got fabric pieces. I put all different styles of fabric pieces in these. So you've got hemp in there. You've got linen in there. You've got canvas in there. You've got cotton. Um, and then here's another set here. All of these old, beautiful uh, vintage buttons. You've got that one. And then there's some pieces there of the feed sack. And I just put some little images behind it, sort of take up uh, using the idea from um, uh, the lady that I purchased um, these beautiful little appliques from. Um, she had sent those to me when I bought them from her. Um, with a book page as a background and I just sort of borrowed that idea um, in some parts okay um, there's your playing card sorry guys distracted okay and then there's another one there they're so pretty when you actually um, and we'll pull one of these I'll take one apart uh, so you can kind of see <clears throat> oh I know what I was saying I left some of these um, without um, anything in them so that you can fill them up. You can also use this sort of as a storage, um, as a storage uh, place for your snippet things. And they all are, I equally put, there's the cheesecloth. The other cheesecloth is sort of that golden yellow. I have some of that in my shop. This took me forever. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> it took so long. Golly, I was like, I tried, guys, to, to get it out by Saturday, but there's your pen and your your uh, applique. Um, so that's what these look like. There is so much in these for you guys to, um, to, to play around with and lots and lots of textures. So there's feed sack. There's um, chintz. What do you call that fabric that's kind of shiny? I forget. And there's... Uh, um, upholstery not upholstery yeah Upho it's kind of upholstery you know what I mean so there's that one and then here's another one here they all pretty much have the same amount of goodies in there and what you can't see in here is um, the different textures so this I love this stuff here with the that at the top this here but there's some linen there's the buttons for that one. And there's another textured piece. There's there's like, uh, you know, several pieces in there. And then up here, this one has 
this textured piece. There is a lot, a lot for you to make a snippet roll. Okay, so here are these. <clears throat> that one's really pretty. They're all really pretty. I just love them all. They were so fun to make, but at the same time, they just took me so long. And I'm not a perfectionist. I'm the opposite. I'm one of those who, if I'm not disorganized a little bit, then I really can't find anything. If things are too tidy, I can't handle it. It drives me crazy. For I'm not um, the kind of uh, person to, for, for the house, yes, but for my um, Etsy rooms, no. It's got to be a little bit disorganized and, and things have to be sort of out of place for me. Or I just go nuts. So... But I say all that to say that um, with these, I was a bit picky because I, you know, I just wanted them to be really nice. Okay, then I have, let me show you guys. So there are those. <clears throat> They're just really, really fun. And they have so much in them. It's so weird because I'm so used to putting together bulk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like for... Um, like for junk journals, you know, I'm so used to putting together like um, the like the really big stuff, you know, the stuff that um, that you use in, in junk journals to make an actual journal. Um, and this was just really different for me because everything's like, you know, snippet and itty bitty. <laughs> oh, boy. But it's all vintage and or antique. That you can you can best believe. There's some pretty buttons there. You won't be able to see the how juicy those buttons are. I put a lot of these buttons in here. Some of them are big, some of them are tiny. And my camera, the lighting is just terrible. Let me see if I open my curtain. Hold on, guys. Okay, I think that might be a little bit better, guys. You can, yeah, now you can see it sort of. Mm. Yeah, a little bit. Still a glare of shadow. <clears throat> so yeah, <clears throat> I think they're just they're they're just so pretty. Um, in person, they're they're just they're they're really nice. Um, and they took me a lot of time. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I won't be doing this again. Not, excuse me, not like this <clears throat> with these pocket thingies. Okay, so there's that. And I'm actually putting these, and some of them, like I said, have images. I used, used old book pages to um, to fill um, some of the, the pockets just for fun. But they all have textures, different pieces of different types of, of um, different types of fabric material. Um, okay, so, all right, there's that. Uh, let me show you what else I did. Look at those buttons. Those are so pretty. Let me sit it down and you can see it better. <laughs> oh, my grandpa Basset Hound, he's grouchy this morning. <laughs> really grouchy. And you guys see that? Okay. So, this is what I did. Um... This is so snippet perfect. And somebody, I'm sure, is going to make a joke about the tatting and go, where's the tatting? Well, it's a snippet. <laughs> Just accept it, man. It's a snippet. I got to, I, if I can find it before I um, ship these out, um, <clears throat> then I will add some more in there. But yeah, it, it, they're snippet. That's what I had, guys, because I made quite a few of these. Okay. So then I had um this style and all of this whoops all of this so yeah all of this came from um my house so i just you know kept digging around and digging around and digging around and found these um <clears throat> and so they're the same i put the same amount of goodies um in here when you open it up it's got different textures and fabrics um, this is that uh, hemp-like piece of fabric. There's my mom's little doll dress piece. There's um, cheesecloth, a snippet of tatting. Don't joke about that. 
Um, and then there are the uh, buttons, the package of unopened package of buttons. And those are, those are vintage too. There's my little, that took me forever to wrap around and those didn't take too long. And then there's your, your, um, um, applique and then your, um, feed sack and I will add when you know as I ship these out before they go out I'm pretty sure I'm going to add more goodies in there look at these old buttons sorry guys my husband is so is distracting me and then there's some fabric and then like I said I put like little images and of old book pages um, in these as well so in all fairness <clears throat> they all have the same amount of goodness in there okay look at this fabric here it's just so do I have some of it left um, it's I love this fabric it's it's all old when you touch that you're just gonna be like in heaven this just is it's like butter so um, these have one two three four five six pockets right and I left a few but I guys I'm by the time I mail them out those will pro those will they will have something in them um, but I left them blank because I wanted to be fair to every pack right because I'm charging the same amount for these <clears throat> sorry you're gonna hear smoky scratching his chin again um i what was i saying um, oh i know what it was those have six pockets in them these have um well technically yeah double-sided so two four they have four okay but they also have these little slide pieces over here that I put things that I put goodies in. Um, so let me just show you a few of those. These things are so fiddly. I am not doing this again. Oh, and I know what I was saying. I, I'm charging the same amount. Um, the reason why things are so expensive these days is shipping. I mean, shipping costs a lot of money. And I saw, I don't know, last week um, that it's actually going to go up. I don't know if it's the new person in charge or I don't know what's going on. I mean, I... You can just tell that our uh, United States Postal Service is just shot to hell right now. It's just not a, it's just not a go good governmental um, agency or whatever it is. And then here's this one. So these open up. Okay. There's that one. And there's a nice picture right there. So there's some book pages in here for you to collage with. And then it goes on and on. So there's those. And I tried to put, you know, fill these up, and I will, with some others. But I left some blank because you can put your own stuff in there. Okay? So some of them are blank. And then there was one more style that um, of these that I found in my stash, in my Merc. There's one more. Some of these are really difficult to keep in, and not so much in this one as that other um, that other size that I just showed you. And then these go on and on and on. So these you can also fold into some kind of book as a storage, um, as a keeper, storage keeper or whatever you call it, to keep your goodies, your snippet goodies, and kind of pick them out. It's kind of like that, um, what do you call those uh, ephemeris book, storage books that you guys have? Something like that. Except for there's not, you know, these pockets are, I think these pockets are great to store ephemera and things like that in. Okay, so there's that style. And I had to, I put two of these together. So there's a little staple there. What did I take out of these um, packs? Let me show you the other style. I only have, oh my gosh, let's see. I only have, ya te vas. Okay, orale. Okay, I got them. Do you want me to, wait, wait, hold on guys. Okay, let's see if I can make it through this video between a husband and two dogs. It's, oh my God. Anyway, um, okay. Yeah, I had to give my dogs a treat. My husband just left. I had to give my dogs a treat, but I make them sit first and give me the, the hand first, the mano. <laughs> okay, this is the other style. I don't make them. It's just fun because they're, they're so smart. 
oh my gosh they're so smart okay let's see let me put these here the other style i have is okay if those fall i'm just gonna cry I, i'm just gonna start screaming and crying is this style here whoops okay wow well that just kicked right into a better view for you all <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Guys, I'm going to tell you all something, and you guys probably don't believe a word I say because um, <laughs> it takes me too long to, to for stuff to manifest or come to fruition, <laughs> to reality, right? Um, I'm going to do the Asian kits after these. Those, I'll just tell you right now, they're going to be um, about $45 without shipping um, just yet. Um, and they, I'm going to do those and then I'm going to take a really, 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 um, sort of a, a little hiatus, which I always I, I feel like I'm never on here. My, I don't make videos every day. I don't even make videos every week, um, to be honest. Um, and that's because, um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a college professor. And so like, I'm, I'm going to finish these today. Um, but I have two classes tomorrow. Um, the good news is, is I'm usually done by mm, 1130. And then I have the rest of the day free um, to and finish, um, you know, not necessarily packing up the rest of these, but just getting the rest of them together. So anyway, and why was I telling you that? Just like I forgot why I was talking about Rita's beautiful book. I had a point and it's gone. <laughs> It's gone. Okay, this is the other. So anyway, I was saying that because I have um, classes tomorrow. But the good part about that is, um, yeah, I got plenty of time to. I have to go and pick up my mom's packages too because I have to get her mailings out um, and keep her in the house. Um, she's getting out a little bit, but not not too much. Um, and she's waiting to get her vaccine. Um, I think she's due to get it in a couple of weeks. I believe so We're, yeah she's excited about that so anyway so this was the other one that I found um, and again it's that book style kind of you know look to it and there are your buttons in that one sorry my dogs are drinking water really loud those snacks make them thirsty sometimes these are old and then can you see the little teeny tiny little itty bitty one right there it's old all the buttons in here are old okay guys i was saying look at the buttons on that <laughs> oh boy okay um let's see i i'm very non-linear today i that's that's just how i am um some days so let's see let me pick up where i left off um i got distracted again by my dogs and yeah okay so let's see what, what else was i telling you so in these booklets here, um, with all of the pages, both 13, 14, 15, 16, that, that come with these, I did not fill them up all the way because I, I didn't think it would be fair to the other um, styles of these. But I do like these better because they, the tops aren't slipping out and that kind of thing. So they're, they're pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, oh, Lord. I guess Bishop is going to let me... Um, get this done there are stray dogs that go up and down the street and, and yeah anyway so that's what those look like okay so there's that hang on guys I'm gonna pause you until he stops barking sorry okay so yeah okay there's that now guys I am so distracted look at that one that's really pretty I'll love that one the buttons on these I'll take um you know take one of these apart um I hate to guys it, it was it was fun h-e-l-l -L, putting these together but oh my god <laughs> they were to another fiddly project and I don't do fiddly very well so there's that and so what I'll do is as I I'm gonna wrap I have well, anyway, I have several of these to wrap up tonight um, so that I can mail them out tomorrow because the shipping time is overdue because, well, I was fiddling around with this, fiddling around. Look at the buttons on those. Aren't those pretty? 
right and I think oh yeah and then don't forget you have this little pack so I think what I was telling you guys um is that I'm so not used to putting together tiny things <laughs> I'm used to putting together big like kits for junk journals so yeah there's that um let's take a couple of these out and I'll show you what's in these so these will go in there and that doesn't include the eyelet pack um, I'm still working on that. You guys can, can see all that right there. I've got that to cut plus uh, more, uh, more than that. But I, I, that's the last part. Um, I And, and then, of course, um, there's the, the color pack, um, thank you pack that comes with it, too. So, yeah, that's just how I do it. Um, so let me show you. Let me open one of these. These came out so, they were so fun to cut up everything. I, oh, I know what I was going to tell you guys while I'm flipping through this. Um, I initially started this out with being a neutral. And it's still, it's still like that because a lot of the, um, I showed you guys the, the, the base. I'm so sorry guys for my dog. Um. He, there, the guy across the street, the people across the street, they have a pit bull that likes to get out sometimes. And these dogs around here, there's a lot of dogs that fight and all that kind of stuff. And Bishop is still a puppy. So he's, you know, and he's hyper and he's, he's a German shepherd. Um, so yeah, there's that. And, um, but a pit bull German shepherd, oh my God, it's just, I, I, I would just be stressed out. I would probably faint if my dog got into a fight with a pit bull because I just couldn't handle it. Um, and there have been times when that dog has come to our gate to start stuff. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so there's the, these are the, um, bases. Okay. So those, you'll get those in there. Those are the bases, but I was trying to do like all neutral and I did in those pockets in these there are several pieces of neutral colored snippet palettes that that you can use right so for example this one I don't know what kind of fabric this is but it's like it's like upholstery or hemp I'm not sure I, I really don't know and then over here behind the buttons you have canvas and then turn the page you have um, embroidery, you know, embroidery fabric, embroidery, yeah, embroidery fabric. That's what you embroider on. And then there's this. I love this fabric so much. I think I kept a piece of that for myself because I'm going to do a snippet, um, a snippet. And then in some of the other packs you have, I put like different pieces, um, there's some white linen and cotton in here. Oh, and then of course you have, there's some uh, white co uh, teal cotton. So that's when I started to get in trouble after the feed sacks with color. I'm supposed to be doing all neutral. There's your um, cheesecloth. And I just, I tried to stick to neutral and I did for the base of everything, but there's color obviously. But um, anyway, yeah, so that's what I'm trying to say. So there's that little doily and that one. There's a piece of lace and that one and a piece of that and some old, old vintage. I had enough. This was a round table um, cover. And I chopped it up. And there's that old piece. I had enough for all of the packs. And you won't be able to see the full color of that one. It's kind of a... It's so old, guys. It's kind of a... I don't know what color. Kind of a dark peachy color. And there's some of that. Did you guys see the front cover of the front covers of Sagita's uh, latest journals? I'm going to plug that video in here, too. I mean, her that anyway, the way she does that is really cool um, to sew that those kinds of things. And then that Midori journal cover that uh, Rachel made is just unbelievable. It's just so cool. The stuff that that um, you guys do. 
So there's that old piece, that antique piece, the collar, and this was another collar. So there are those. And let's look at another one. There might be, um, I just want to show you some of the differences. They're the, they're the same in terms of the amount put in these, but they there are some differences. Uh, let's turn this one over. There's the doily. So if I put a large doily in there, these got, whoops, these got two doilies in there. And there's a different kind of piece. Love how you guys put stitches in these and sew them down. There's another little doily. Look at that. Oops, I'm out of focus there. There we go. And the color, because of the lighting, it's um, rainy here today. It's not raining yet. I love this. I I put tried to put um, this piece almost in every pack that I had. Love that. I like the way you guys stitch that down and then you stitch through these little thingies and then stitch around there and stitch 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 <laughs> it's very warm here it's 70 degrees today uh, but it's cloudy all of these colors are just vintage creams <sighs> and um sorry that was a loud sigh sorry about that <laughs> it's just warm now this weather is so crazy texas is just the weather is just you know, it's like when a black woman have has a child, you never know what color that child is going to come out. <laughs> There's always that gene that's lying dormant. <laughs> oh my gosh, I remember people saying, gosh, your daughter, is she's so brown. <laughs> my daughter was so beautiful, guys. And um, my sister and I, my sister is, she, on, on a lot of the pictures I've posted of her, she's, she's fair-skinned too, my sister is. She's so beautiful. And, um, but she's, you know, she's a couple of notches uh, browner than I am, maybe a notch and a half. And people are always like, let me grab two more of these guys to show you. Um, people are always like, gosh, <laughs> and it's just really hilarious because, you know, that's, that's, that's the history of the United States and our culture. And, um, yeah, it's just, that's, it's kind of cool though, actually. Um, I was telling my students the other day about how my mom's birth certificate says colored um, for ethnic uh, race, for race, and mine says Negro, N-E-G-R-O for race. My daughter's says black. And then, of course, today when you have children um, and you're, you know, you're of black descent, um, it's African American. Um, so it's just really interesting. Um, I've been talking about the one drop rule in my classes with um, my in my American literature courses with my students because they you know the school systems here isn't that pretty guys I think a lot of packs got some of that I can just see y'all stitching the hell out of that around that and cutting pieces and snipping pieces off I mean that's a big snippet but yeah um our school systems in the United States just jumped over and passed uh, black history. It's like, hello. So I make sure to get a lot of black history in my classes. Um, whether I'm teaching British literature, American literature, world literature. Ooh, but I am teaching again. I'm so excited. Next semester, I'm going to teach a world literature course. And we're going to look at um, Nabokov's Lolita. I love that so much. And my students... Um, there's a whole Lolita movement, uh, apparently, for young people. So we're going to look at that, at Nabokov, along with, um, obviously, Toni Morrison, of course, and um, several others. Don't, yeah, my Basset Hound is tired of Bishop. He's sleepy. My Basset Hound, he's getting so old, guys, but he's still hanging in. He is hanging in. <laughs> but he is grouchy as hell. Oh, my goodness. They were outside and they just came in the front door. Smokey just came in so he can sleep, get a nap. And Bishop is bothering him. Okay, you guys have seen this. Let me hurry. Um, this is So this is a lot of the laces that, you know, that's going in the pack. There's that pretty antique one. And, oh, this is old too. Check this out. This one right here, look at that. That was that collar of that uh, in that other pack I showed you when I said it was a, a collar as well. This was the kind of like the end, kind of like a vest thing. I don't know what you call those things. 
Bernadette um, Banner would know. So there's that. I'm not going to go through all of these guys because it, it's uh, that's not the point. The point is to show you the rest of this. Okay, so there's that. That's your lace pack. And, I mean, your doily snippet. These are real um, high-maintenance hoity-toity snippets because they're old pieces. But it really doesn't matter, right? When you're using lace, you're using lace. Uh, let's look at this one. There's a piece of that filet crochet doily doily hope i'm in camera sorry about the lighting like i said it's rainy here 70 degrees and um and muggy very muggy i am so mad that i um forgot to tell you guys what i was going to say something about my rita donnelly journal so you can see how the there's consistency there right can you guys see that love this bad and bird piece oh love it look at this some of the packs got these really old this is old stuff right here i'm so scared to pull strings because these things like unravel that's so floppy and floppy doppy that's how sometimes you can tell when things are like really really true old when they flop around like that okay there's that now so you're gonna get your base you're gonna get this bag of doily you're going to get a bag of eyelet on its own because it's high maintenance too. And then um, you have, oh, and a big lace pack too. Okay. And then you have the lace packs, guys. I'm still dividing those out. So I've cut them, chopped them up. I just have to assemble them. Um, and there's a lot of lace, guys. I can't tell you how much. Okay. And then you're going to get um fabric pieces so we've got this one and what i was thinking of is taking like um one of the these snippet pocket packet thingies popping that in there with the other fabrics that you get and enclosing it like that so that you have sort of like a um like a painter's a painter's what do you call it a painter's Oh, shit. I forgot. Um, I forgot. Anyway, you know, when the painters took around their brushes and stuff. So you open it up, pull it out, and there you go. You just start sewing away wherever you are. We can call this like a gigantic TN. Okay? So that's going to go. This uh, fabric is going in there. And then this fabric will go in here as well I tried to cut my husband guys my husband helped me cut this like a week ago he was throwing away the the leftovers and I in my recycle bin and I'm like dude don't do that we use that stuff people <laughs> need that don't throw that away guys I had to go in my recycle bin which is just by the other desk over there in my other room um and I'm like, no, man, don't do that. People, ladies will, they, they will yell at us if we throw that away. I know better, but he doesn't. So anyway, he was helping me cut uh, both of these, this, this fabric and this one. And so if for some reason you happen to see a pencil mark somewhere, it's because he, he was doing that. He was cracking me up. We were trying. I was like, how many pieces of this number of pieces of this can I get out of that? And he was like, what? Guys, and he builds cabinets from scratch. <laughs> and he was like, but honey, I don't know. I got to think about it. I'm like, think about it. You do square footage all the time. Come on, man. Do the math. Do the math. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, um, so the packs will come with looking, you know, like this. And that. And that. And that. Okay, and there's a lot. You can snip, cut, snip, cut off of a lot of this. Now, this fabric here, this is um, this will be this one and this yellow one. Um, I the, the first 20 people will get, you know, the um, these pieces. And then if I run out of either of these, you have them in um, your packs, some pieces of that. And I will, you know, likely substitute Oh my God, I forgot I have the quilts. <gasps> I need to cut quilts. 
Oh my goodness. I have quilting pieces to go in here too. Sorry. I forgot to, show, to tell you that. Um, anyway, yeah, that's going to go in there. Um, so that, yeah, that's it guys. Um, this is my, this is, this is it. Okay. Um, the lace pack. So you've got fabric here. You've got your, um, oh, I know what else I was telling you. Nonlinear. Sorry to all my new people. Um, this is just how I do it all the time. I'm like that. Um, I'm taking out the needle. I'm not going to put needles in there because those needles that I had, did I put them back? Yeah, I put them back. They're kind of rusty, guys. And I don't, I think you guys, I think a needle is a woman's. It's like choosing your own uh glass of wine chardonnay sauvignon blanc um joe uh, uh what do you call it riesling um that kind of thing all that sweet wine Ugh. um anyway or your own soda or your own um dress color so i'm gonna leave the needles out now if someone said but you said you were gonna put needles in there so i'm expecting to get my needle okay i'll put it in there um if you really want it i will put it in there I'm leaving those out and what else am I leaving out that I told you guys I was going to put in? Oh, there's another piece of tatting right there. Let me see. What did I say? I'm leaving out needles. I think that was it. I thought there was something else. No, I think that's it. Yeah, everything else will be um, will be in the packs, um, including uh, beads. And I'll put those in little bags and drop them down um, somewhere in, in this um, package. Okay, so there's that. You also will get a pack of uh, music fabric with this beautiful floral that I cut up. I love this stuff. I really love this stuff. There's that. So you'll get um, these pieces along with... Um, hang on along with my great auntie's fabric here so you'll get that and i chopped this up and it felt so good oh my god it feels so good to to let this go and let somebody stitch it up and enjoy it this is some good stuff i love it i just love it so you'll get some of that and and it'll be random you know it'll just i'll just go through and pick some pieces so it'll, it'll be random. And then finally, so you'll get that. So no needles, guys. I'm not going to put those in there. I just think those needles are, are, are old. The needles I have, I have some new ones, but I don't have enough to go in everybody's pack. If you, if you do want one in there, just let me know, okay? And I'll find a new one. Um, to put in there. The ones I have are all vintage. All the stuff I have is old stuff. It's vintage. Um, and then what the other, um, where is it? Okay, here we go. The other pieces that are going in, hang on, I got to get this stuff. Um, so I'm going to also put in each one of these, let me remove this for now. Um, you get Hang on, let me let me just go ahead and well, I'll leave that. Um, a, a stitching piece, an embroidery piece. So um, I'll fold this in. How am I doing for time? Okay, good. There's that piece will be folded in, and I got plenty. I'll pick the ones, the first twenty buyers. Um, you know, that's yeah. They'll probably get, um, especially like the floral pieces. I got plenty, guys, for it all to be just beautiful. Um, but remember, this is a snippet roll kit, not a junk journaling kit. And I, I'm so confused. My brain is like, what are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? So some of these I've already cut up. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Even this is snippet worthy, right? So these are, these are going to be pretty uh, wealthy uh, for snippet roll packs. Okay, so there's that. Um, isn't that pretty? Look at that. I just love that. That's not going in there. There's some there. Look at this. I love this. One of my repeat buyers, when I showed this one time, she's like, I got to have some of that. Put that in my bag. That was for my stitchery kits. She's the one who educated me on um, 
um, perlite uh, thread. So this is really pretty. And I saw, I don't know who I saw using, um, I think it was a panel that Ann Brooks showed where someone had taken one of these and, and used them. So that's going in there. There's another napkin there. And a pretty one here. More snippet worthiness on the edges. There's another one of these. These are pillowcases and they're all hand done. They're so pretty. Look at that. And I'll probably cut, you know, try, uh, try and cut out the flower, the flowers for you guys. So there's that. And there's a tiny piece there. These are adorable. I love these so much. Look at these. These are blue. I have a blue kit pack that I, it's a D stash blue pack that I put together. And I should have saved one of these for that pack, but it's got some other vintage hankies in there. And then there's that one. And just little bits. This is um, one of the ones I think I showed on camera. On the last video, I mean, here's this one. And this one, I love this one. This one reminds me of my sunflower that I got from um, Cherie. Um, so that'll, you know, that'll go in there. And then I just love it because look at all that fodder for snippet rolls. And then more on that side. This is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. It's that floppy doppy material. I love this kind of material. This is the same fabric as that square piece that I with the little loop de doop de doop things on the edges. I kept pointing out. Oh, I love that fabric so much. I think it's it's here. This fabric here. Oh, I love this. It's so floppy and um I don't know it just wants to lay down and it's just so perfect I think for um, for stitching on and it's almost got that not almost it does have that kind of yeah perfect stitching texture <laughs> oh, texture 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 anyway so there's that and that's got some pretty 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 edges you could cut and stitch and snip and all that and this one that's the one I showed on camera I think hang on let me put that there okay there's that one and this one that unfolds and I'm just going to fold these right into the Gigantic Traveler's Notebook stitch, Snippet Stitching, Slow Stitching Book. <laughs> it's a book. Travel book. So you can take it wherever you want to go. <clears throat> there's that. And that. And there's that one I showed you guys. And that piece. And then I have a bunch of these that are hand stitch. And so... Um, when I get low on the packs, these will be the ones likely going into them, uh, into the final um, listings of, of what I have left. Um, and it that this particular kit will stay on my Etsy shop at the same price, guys, for a, a long time. So there you have it. Okay. You can also, if you choose not to buy one, you can also wait until some of your friends get one and see what they're, uh, you know, because... The junk journaling community is big, but it's small. Just saying. Um, and people talk, you know. Um, so uh, you might, if you want to wait, and there's some white right there. I was saving this to avocado dye, coffee dye, but, and there's several of those. So you might want to wait until one of your friends get one and um, see what he or she um, says. I think that's it, guys. So you've got your fabric back here you've got your travelers um, pack with all your thread in there and you've got buttons in there you've got snippet feed sack in there vintage you've got some blue papers pieces of paper to play with um, you've got cheesecloth you've got 
applique. You've got various textures of um, fabric in here. You've got some tatting in there. Um, and your buttons, your vintage buttons. Okay. And then you've got your, yeah, your fabric, your... Oh my God, this is a nightmare over here. All this eyelet, this eyelet, I'll just show you again. <laughs> You're almost going to be in a minute. Eyelet pack. <laughs> Sorry about that. And um, your embroidery, your lace pack is coming. This is going to be packed. Oh my God. And I'm going to keep this separate from um, your doily pack. Okay, that's going to be separate from that. There's going to be a ton. This is going to be full just like that full 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 and then of course you have I didn't unroll a base did I let me take one of these you've got let me just grab one you've got your base okay and your base just unfolds like that some of these are longer than others that's okay <laughs> you can uh, sew something on onto it so that's one color that's kind of a beigey uh, beigey Mm, taupey cream color and then I've got some white ones and I ripped these and these are pretty long if you want measurements just let me know but that's pretty long and I love the fraying edges on that one and that's white and finally um hang on here uh let's see what other colors did I put this canvasy color? Look at that. And I ripped it. So there's that one. So you've got this canvasy color and my you 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 can't tell because of the lighting. I'm so sorry about that. Just ask me questions if you guys have questions. Um the white you can see the differences there. And then this color here. And I think there is another white in here. If these stayed in my possession, I would have all this stuff coffee dyed. I'm just saying it would be dyed. And there's another color there. Oh, now I can't see. That's the same as this one. There's an, oh, here it is. Here's a white here. <clears throat> and these are smaller in terms for, of bases. So these are smaller um, and this material is sort of it's like linen um, let's test it and pinch it yeah so it's kind of linen it could be cotton guys I sometimes I don't know the difference except for in my own clothes because the linen to me when you you know like I have a lot of linen pants uh, pants and dresses and stuff and it's linen you know so when you sit down and it crinkles that's the beautiful part of linen I love that so some of this in here is linen and some of it is cotton and some of it is um muslin that's what it is that's what this is I think is muslin so that's the basis so it's everything you need in here um to make more than one snippet roll, to add to snippet rolls, to make those beautiful Midori style cover snippet roll and anything and Brooke Post you can do. And then Wendy's latest video and Sagita um, style stuff. So all of the sewing ladies, it's not just those ladies, it's all the ladies, um, Carol and Pam. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I think that's it, guys. Oh, the quilts. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me write it down. You see? You see my, my brain? You see how it works? It doesn't sometimes. My students drain my brain. But those are my academic babies, man. I, they, I That's all I can say. <laughs> so let me jot down quilts. And I'm not going to show you guys that because I'll let that be a surprise. But um, it'll be different... Um, uh, let's see. I have one that's really tattered and worn. I have one that's fairly contemporary with lots of color. Puts you in the mind of those um, uh, beautiful uh, Kanta uh, quilts Rosemary uses. But this is this is more like that. It's not Kanta um, sewn like the uh, burrow stitch. It's the squiggly line stitch. Anyway, that'll be a surprise for you guys. And then everybody will get 
a thank you pack, um, a small thank you pack with color pieces in there. Not just these, not including these. These are part of the kit. Okay, those are go those are part of the kit. The color pack will be a thank you pack. Okay. All right, guys, my phone is gonna cut off in a minute. Um, I will say goodbye. Thank you guys for your patience. Um, and again, thank you to my new subscribers. Uh, again, it might take you either you'll get used to me or you'll you'll just go somewhere else. And I, that's how, I, how I've always ran my YouTube channel. You know, we all do that, right? If you like something, you stay. If you don't, bye. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Orale pues. Sale pues. Mwah. See you guys later. Bye.